Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have something super exciting. I'm going to be setting up the Sylvanian family's house on the hill. Um, I feel like this is a staple for every collector because it's such an iconic house. Um, first of all, it's huge, it's way bigger than I expected and it has so many rooms. And I've had this house for a couple of months now. I was super lucky because I got it brand new in the box from eBay, which was such an amazing find because it is an older discontinued set. Um, I've actually been holding off on doing this video because it took me a little while to get all the furniture pieces that I wanted. I wanted to make sure that everything was perfect, so it took me a little longer to work on this video. But yeah, I'm super excited to set this up, and first I'm going to give you a closer look on all the details of the house. So here's what it looks like on the inside. There's three separate levels and nine rooms in total, so it's very spacious. Um, I love the overall flow and layout of this house because it feels pretty realistic and like an actual home. Um, I feel like the new houses they release now are super boxy because they kind of focus more on being able to connect to other buildings. So the rooms tend to be more one-sized and rectangular. But this house has all sorts of different sized rooms, which makes it super fun to decorate and play in. And then here's the side of the house, and this side actually has two rooms that are only accessible from this view, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, you can kind of reach into them from the inside, but they're pretty deep into the house, so it's a little difficult to furnish if you aren't doing it from this side. So yeah, those are all the main details of this house, and now I'm going to do a time lapse setting it up and putting in all the furniture.
So here's the house on the hill all set up. I had so much fun setting it up and I'm so in love with how it turned out. Um, I did add lights to all the rooms so that it'd be easier to see and I also took out all the figures for now so that they wouldn't be blocking the furniture and I showed all of the pieces in here in my previous haul so definitely check those out if you want to know where I purchased these. But here on the first floor, um, I made it the living room. So this is just the living room and TV set that I showed in my previous haul. And then I also added that little fireplace there. And I was really happy that I was able to fit the fireplace and the TV in this room because that was something that I really wanted. Um, and then in this room, I made it the dining room. So this is the table and chair from the country kitchen set. And then I also added that piano there. Um, and then here's the kitchen. So this is just the country kitchen set. And then um, that little cart is called the kitchen cookware, I believe. So I just added that set there to fill up that space. And I think it looks really cute. Um, and then up here on the second floor, I decided to make this the master's bedroom suite. So this is just the master bedroom um, bed and vanity. And then um, these little chairs, I think, are called the living room armchairs that I got used from eBay. And then I also added that little lamp. Um, and then I love how this space here turned out. So I made this into playroom with the Tanner and Tallulah nursery set. And then I, I also added um, a couple of extra things like that rocking horse and this little table. So I think that looks so adorable um, and I love that little space. Um, and then up here on the third floor, um, over here is just the nursery. Um, I forgot the exact name of this, but it's just the nursery set that's in red. So I decided to make this a little baby room. Um, and then in this little room here, I made it into the office. So that's just a children's desk there. And then I also put a phone table and a magazine stand. So that was it for this side. Um, I absolutely love how it turned out. And then here on the side of the house, down here on the bottom, um, I decided to make this into a sunroom because um, I didn't really want to put another bedroom down here because it's right next to the kitchen. So I thought a sunroom worked really well here. So this is all the furniture from the conservatory living room set. Um, and I think it looks super cute. I love how the wicker design looks in this house. So. I think that room is so adorable. Um, and then here on the second floor, this is the children's bedroom. So I just used the furniture from the children's bedroom set. And then I also added this um, girl's dressing room table um, here on the left because I needed something to fill up that space. And I thought that furniture piece looked really good there. So that's it for this side of the house. And then here's the front of the house. Um, I just added all of these vines and flower boxes from the garden decoration set. Um, and then here on the front porch, I just put the um, garden table and chairs. And then I also added that little tea set there. Um, and then here on the balcony, I didn't really put anything because I didn't want it to look too busy. So I just added that little vine there. But yeah, I really like how the front of this house looks. I think it looks so adorable with all of the decorations. Um, and then here's the inside of the house with all of the figures inside of it. Um, I was actually able to fit a lot of families in here. So I have the flower garden rabbits, the wildflower rabbits, the Shiba Inus, and then the border collies in here. And they all fit perfectly fine. I can even add more if I wanted. So this house definitely accommodates a lot of figures, which is really good. So that was it for this video. I had so much fun setting up this house and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one.